regular basis. It's rare for us. Oh, Lord, man. Where did you get this towel from? Is that something you bought in Columbia? Oh, I wish I could, but I did not. So I'm Leroy. That's Michael. We're the Retrying Channel. Uh, presented by Nerdy by Nacho, Nerdy by Nature Productions. Nerdy oh. by Nachos. Yep. <laughs> I had nachos tonight. Okay. So, as this goes up, this Celtics lost the first game. Understandable. You know what? J Playoff Jimmy showed up. But you know what? They lost the first game in this series too. Uh huh. And what happened? We sent those 76ers home. So Miami. Now, you asked where I got this. Uh -huh. I didn't get this. This was a gift. This okay. was a gift from my brother-in-law who lives in Boston, who went to game two in Boston against the 76ers. And he Is said- game two of this series in Boston as well or no? No. Oh, I didn't know if there was a superstition that your brother needed to go to the game. No, 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 no. Okay. He lives in Boston and he got me this. He said they were giving them out. So guess what? I've got this one. And I've got this one. Is that upside down? It is upside down. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, great. So for all those Heat fans out there who are coming on this channel, talking all that foolishness, guess what? We lost game one in that series too. And you know what? We sent the MVP home packing, got Doc Rivers fired, and James Harden is probably taking his ass back to Houston. So you know what, you know what, Miami? You next. And guess what? I even got my Sam Adams glass while I'm drinking her cerveza. And we about to get to this trailer. Kick it off, Michael. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, we're about to watch a Martin Scorsese trailer because all that definitely dovetailed in this. Uh, <laughs> Kill Killers of the Flower Moon. Don't know much about this. I know it is based on a book, a very popular book. Uh, let's see. What was the thing here? So the, the uh, IMDb page says, member of the Osage uh, tribe in the United States, a murder under mysterious circumstances in the 1920s, sparking a major FBI investigation involving J. Edgar Hoover. Um, all I know about this is that people love this book. Scorsese has talked about it for a number of years. It's coming to Apple Plus. It's going to movies first, theaters first, going to Apple Plus. And it's Scorsese and DiCaprio teaming up again. So and, and De Niro. Oh, De Niro's in this too. I didn't know De Niro's back. Mm -hmm. Let's do it, man. All right, here we Let's go. Let's get to it. Oh, did that say Paramount? Yeah, they're also they, I think they co-partnered with Apple or something. The Osage took their name Osage, from the Missouri and Osage Rivers. Niu Kanska. Children of the Middle Waters. Move, said the Great White Father. There are many. So many hungry wolves. Can you find the wolves in this picture? This picture. So that was who I thought it was. There was Brendan Fraser. Yeah. Uh, so white people are going to be killing 
the Osage tribe? Hmm. I want to say something, but I'm not. Okay. Uh, um. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what I got from it. As so, a short glance, I mean, it just feels like we're about to see the killing of a group of people by another group of people. But also, also, I know the book is also about like the birth of the FBI. So I feel like this kind of helps jumpstart the FBI a little bit. Um, like, I don't know how, how far along the FBI was in at this time, but I feel like this is where the Bureau kind of really makes his first big case, or at least one of his first big cases. I don't know. Chat, let me know. So according to this, Scorsese read the book. I'm on IMDb. It's uh, the trivia that they've put up there. Uh, supposedly, this book is from David Grant. Um Killers of the Moon. He supposedly when he read the book, he knew he had to make it and worked with Chief Standing Bear to convince the Osage, he said Osage, the Osage Nation to help him film it. So one of the things that I think the name Scorsese is, is gives this movie two things or gives when I, I see something, two things. One, you know, it's going to be a well executed film. You may not like the film Irishman, but you know you're going to get a well-executed film. Sure. So he does a lot of work in trying to make the film um, authentic. He's going to do all of the things and get all the people involved to make sure that he's just not making, you know, anything. He's trying to make art. He's trying to, it's commercial art, but he's trying to make art. He's trying to tell a story. So... I'm interested in this because it's Scorsese, De Niro, and DiCaprio, and it's about a time. We, I'm, let's be honest, we're not really taught a lot about in school. Like, can you tell me what you remember about learning about the the 1920s? No, not at all. <laughs> so, so you're right. This is a movie. Um, and this movie was refer this this time period was referenced in a movie called the FBI Story. Um, so supposedly you're right. The Osage murders is some of the is something that begat the the birth of the FBI. Um, go ahead. It's interesting because we see people. Uh, non-white people in primary roles, which I think is awesome, but their names are not shown in these credits, which I kind of wish you would give them the due respect. And granted, people don't know them like they know Leonardo DiCaprio or Brendan Fraser or whoever. And I don't, I don't know the screen actor rights and guild rights and stuff of who you can put in credits for stuff like that. But I feel mm -hmm. like maybe that would have been another thing that after you showed like Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro, and all those people, you show some other names. Although it does show Lily Gladstone, and I don't know who Lily Gladstone is. Yes. Uh, who is so, that? Do you know? Yeah. Uh, so if you go to our IMDb page, she is an act actress, casting, uh, works in the casting department, and writer. She was born in Montana. Gladstone was raised on Blackfeet Indian Reservation and okay. later near Seattle, Washington. She graduated with high honors from the University of Montana, 2008, with the BFA. Um, in acting, directing, and a minor in Native American studies. Gladstone was introduced to audience in Alex and Andrew Smith's adaption of Winter in the Blood, a New York Times bestseller and seminal novel by Blackfeet gross venture author James Welch. Her breakout role came in 2016 with Kelly Wright, Wrighthart's Certain Women of, hold on. Certain Women. Uh, that's the movie. That's the, So that just came out last year 2016 2016 that's how yeah. old that movie is man yeah. um I, I feel like it just came out yesterday sorry um okay so everything i said is uh dumb all right good job apple <laughs> take everything back i don't want to say it's dumb, but i mean i i think I, you, you but you 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 mentioned the answer's point when you're trying to sell this movie because let's be honest this is a new property you have the names dicaprio de niro and scorsese but let's be honest this is up against, it comes out in October, but you're up against Marvel movies, Transformers, whatever Tom Cruise is trying to kill himself on next. Um, 
So you have to sell the movie. So you have to put those names out there. You have to be like, oh, these are the people in the movie. Um, because let's be honest, this is probably not an easy sell, you know? Uh, well, uh, uh, the time it comes out, I feel like that people people realize once once you say Martin Scorsese, that already has an idea of this is Zen a popcorn yeah, flick. There's je ne sais quoi about it. Right. It's not a, okay, so here, let's go ahead and check this out. We know what we're getting this probably has the potential to be an Oscar nominee for sure. True. Um, um, so we'll see next year if it is, but I mean, it definitely has already has that idea of what this is a period piece or whatever. I think it looks great. Um, I don't know how I feel about Leonardo's accent, but I'm sure I'll grow on after I see him in the movie over the course of hours or so. But uh, yeah. Well, here's, here's the thing. If you think about the cast, um, you talked about the cast earlier. You got Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro, Jesse Plemons, John Lithgow, um, Brendan Fraser, Another name that I saw that I was like, huh, that's twice we've talked about this gentleman and being in different movies. Sturgill Simpson. And you also have, um, so we talked about the, the, the um, Native Americans. You have Jill, uh, Jill, Jill, uh, Jillian Dion, Tatanka to Means, uh, William Below, Belou. You have... I think I want to say um, Tantu Cardinal and Lily Gladstone. Um, I wanted to say this person might be Native American, but I didn't want to assume. So let me click on her page. Uh, yep. Um, Janae Collins uh, is a Dakota Crow actress. Um, so you have quite a few big name prominent stars paired with indigenous people for this movie. So I, I like you said, I, you, you wish you'd see more of their names on the marquee for the film, but you see their names listed um, in the movie. And we've watched movies before where we've had big names in the movie and they were not listed on the front page of IMDb. Um, so that that's a good job on that part. Um, so is this a, now you are able to go to the movies a little bit more than I am. Is this a movie for you to go to the theater to see? Uh, possibly. We'll see what's out when, when else, whenever when I'm out there to see if there's something else I want to see. It's possible. Okay. I won't. I won't say for sure, but could be. I'm going to be honest with you. That image at the end was eerie, where it like froze, mm -hmm. and it was like, "Can you pick the kid? What is the wolves or the killers in this room?" I was yeah, like, the wolves in the room. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "Ugh," because I felt. I want to say one of those people looked like Roosevelt. Hmm. Was I was I crazy? Did it look like at the uh, end there was a white dude with a mustache? I mean, there was. I won't say you're wrong. So it's just it's like how far does this go? Like how up? How far up? How how many people are involved in this? So I'm I'm interested. So. It's not your, it's, it's not like, yeah, we do a lot of, you know, genre stuff on this channel, hence by the shirt that I'm wearing, but I'm always down for a good Scorsese movie. Yeah. Uh, let us know in the comments below, are you going to go check this out? Is this something you're like, oh yeah, let me, let me see what's going on with this. Also, what is your favorite Martin Scorsese movie? I don't know if I have one. I would probably just say The Departed. Really? Not Goodfellas? No. Real? Oh, interesting. I've never seen Goodfellas. <gasps> that's the one with ever since I was young, I knew I wanted to be a gangster. Is that, is that that movie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Is that the, also one with has an infamous uh, one shot? Or maybe not infamous, but like a well-known one shot camera pan or whatever. Uh, like a really long take in that movie, like where he goes to a diner or something. He's meeting people. I think so. Yeah. 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 Good man. You. We, you know what? We need to start a we need to start a um, a franchise, retro reviews where we go back and watch some movies that you have never seen and I've seen, and then we do a critique or a review of is does this live up to the hype? You know, or like because you know, like Goodfellas is so well known that there are so many memes and tropes that are taken from that movie. And if you watched it like that, Goodfellas, Godfather, Godfather Two, does it hold up if you go back and rewatch it? knowing everything you know about the film we should do that I, that good fellas that's what that's one of the ones we should do yeah sure i'll check that out i'm not gonna check that movie out 
I'm going to make you check it out. Okay. Let me know if you think Leroy is going to make me check it out in the comments below. I'm going to break into your house and play it while you sleep and incept you with wow. it. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. It's that serious. Follow us here good, on fellas, uh, YouTube. Also, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, yep. Twitch, Twitter, yep. either at We Trying or We Trying Y'all, all the places. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, we put up more videos. Man, I can't and... be a neurologist. Yeah, that's tough to know where the things are going to be. <laughs> yeah. uh, until next time, we're out. <laughs>